you got this old uh, video hour meter which I used to have in my old X5 Falcon bought it over from the Netherlands and uh, I just want to have a look at the mechanism I'm pretty sure this type of uh, meters has a Raymond Toi mechanism so it got like a spring loaded escapement which charges up every one or two minutes um, I know it used to work so we're going to test it out see if the device works first and then let you hear the activation click of the Raymond Toi mechanism it's on the screen think hear the click and hopefully it's ticking Okay, we're going to open it up, and uh, I know I've taken many of these older meters apart, and the pain is these bezels. I know, there's ways of doing it, you can uh, use a screwdriver and open it all up there, right? then it ends up splitting the bezel. So what I'm going to do is going to use a file, and file half the circle off, and hopefully it comes off, and then I take it from there. So the idea is just filing the bezel off. Quite a bit of effort, a lot of filing, and finally got there, got the glass out. I got the screws removed, so the nuts removed. This comes off. Terminal cover here. Ah, got a couple of screws in here. Screws out, and how things should come apart. There we go. You've got the whole device. That's cool, got springs on that too. I'm gonna set it up. Yeah, we won't plow up right it. So here we have the 12 volt solenoid coil. Um, this is the spring charge device. I need to see where the contact is, but that goes via ratchet mechanism, charges up the spring for the mechanism. And it'll keep the clock going in say 30 to 40 second intervals. Then event shortly. So here we have the actual contact. That closes slowly, so these contacts are prone to burning in. The relay closes in, contact moves overshoots the brass uh, lever and tensions the spring. I'll let it go through its cycle and then uh, I'll see if I can do a manual on it and visualize it. Click. Here's the escapements. So 
So I've depowered the device, so if the escapement moves, these contacts are closed. So if this contact is closed, they will pull the lever in from the relay. I'm doing it slow now, but because the impulse is so fast, it overshoots this lever. And it sits on the ratchet and the clock starts running again. This event goes pretty quick. So the ratchet wheel can be seen pretty clearly here. There's a pole on there. <coughs> there's not a pole, there's actually two ratchet poles on there. And there's a spring here. That is the spring where the clock is running off. Which drives it via this gear wheel into this other gear wheel. If you can show it a bit better. Got a light on there, and that drives the mechanism. Thank you, very well made. Nice little German movement. And um, a look at the escapements. Standard type escapements. Runs really smooth. And of course that drives the gear train here. We've got a counter sitting up here. So we've got the hour meter sitting here, the dials get driven via worm drive of another gear that sits here and sits behind there. So so this gear wheel here drives through the course gear wheels, drives the dials. And it drives the hour clock. It says a sweep hand which makes one revolution per hour. Betriebstunden, that is running hours. Minuten, VDO. The energization. The mechanism starts straight away. VDO, Betriebsstunden, Zähler. Oh yeah, 1960, so it's older than me. Cool. Click. Seven thousand and fourteen hora in twenty minutes.